Welcome to the remastered version of Cotton Fantastic Night Dreams. Let's start off with the arcade original which was released in April 1991, running on Sega's System 16B arcade board. Now if you didn't know, you play as Cotton, a witch that is addicted to a sweet known as Willow. She'd do anything to get these Willow sweets, including forcing the good fairies of the land to assist her. Quite an odd story for what is definitely a strange but great game. Cotton has a powered up system very much like the original Darius games. You have a regular shot and a bomb button to attack enemies on the ground. Various bad guys drop crystals of one of three different colours. Yellow will increase your experience gauge, basically your standard primary weapon. Red will give you a dragon shot and blue will give you a lightning shot. You can also shoot these crystals mid-air to cycle through the colours, just like the bells in Parodius or Twin B. The first port of Cotton came to the PC Engine Super CD Rom Rom on February 12, 1993. What is surprising is that this actually got a US release, not what I would have expected. So how good is the PC Engine version of Cotton? Well, not bad actually. Of course the graphics have taken a hit and there's less enemies on screen, but overall it's a pretty competent port. The game now features a new vocal intro for the story sections and an arranged soundtrack which are certainly welcome. Next up is the Sharp X68000 version which was released on September 24th 1993. Now here's a shock, the X68000 port isn't arcade perfect, no not at all, it's a million times better. The graphics and audio have been given an upgrade resulting in a much more pleasing game. The gameplay has also been altered with all new enemy patterns and control tweaks, easily the definitive version of Cotton Fantastic Night Dreams. or was until recently.
On April 28, 1999, we saw the arrival of the PlayStation port. Cotton Fantastic Night Dreams on the PlayStation is pretty much like the arcade game, but with added graphical effects and improved arranged soundtrack. There is a bit of loading between stages, but nothing too long. Sadly, it is far too easy. I'm playing all versions of Cotton on normal mode, yet this port is easier than the other versions on easy mode. Put this PlayStation port into easy mode and it's practically impossible not to complete the game, no matter how poor you are at shooters. On March 23rd, 1999, we saw the release of the Neo Geo Pocket port. Probably not the most expected title to appear on the Neo Geo Pocket, but a welcome one indeed. Looking pretty good for the system and sounding okay, this Neo Geo Pocket Color version of Cotton isn't all that bad. Sure, the levels are cut back, as are the amount of enemies, but at the time, this was the only way to play Cotton on the move. This Japanese exclusive mobile phone version was amazing when it came out on March 30th, 2000. Yeah, that's back when there was no such thing as a smartphone, and Japanese phones ruled when it came to technology, unlike now. This video footage you're watching now actually came from one of my very early shows, Retrocore Volume 32. Unfortunately, the phone that this game was originally on no longer works. And here we go with the latest version of Cotton Fantastic Night Dreams, released in March 2021. This is the PlayStation 4 version, but it was also released on the Switch and Steam. So what do we have here? Well, the game is actually called Cotton Reboot, and comes with an emulated version of the Sharp X68000 game, with many of the options disabled, and this all new modern take on the X68000 version. 
I say that because Cotton Reboot is based upon the X68000 stage design rather than the arcade version. This is understandable as the X68000 port was vastly superior to the arcade game with its more balanced gameplay, better stage design and extra graphical effects. Reboot takes all of that and splashes oodles of colour, translucent effects and a cool arranged soundtrack by some pretty popular composers. But that's not the only addition. The game now has a cool scoring mode that I still don't quite understand, but it goes something like this. There is now a new fever gauge, situated in the bottom left of the screen. This fills up the better you play. In other words, the more you kill and longer you survive fills this gauge. Once full you can activate it with a press of a button, turning your regular shot into a score multiplier for each enemy shot. This results in some mighty big numbers filling up the screen in what can only be described as a tribute to cave shooters. There are other scoring additions too, but as I said I still don't fully understand the system. Time to read the game manual I think. Well, digital manual, since modern games really come with manuals these days. Let's take a look at all those versions of Cotton Fantastic Night Dreams running side by side. 